Okay guys, I'm going to tell you a variation on the Ace Maiden. Uh, good fly to have in your box. Um, just going to show you how to put the wee fly together. The hook in the vase is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double in black nickel. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in, get the thread started, female behind the eye of the hook, run on a couple of turns of thread and remove the waist tag. Now I'm going to tie this in a bit of a flame Thor type, type stayed fly. So the tag and the rib for the rear body is going to be oval silver tinsel. This is the Vanyard size 14. So I'm just going to length this off the spool. Trim that away. Just going to come in catch this in underneath the shank of the hook then bring the oval silver tinsel underneath the shank and then just run your thread down tying this in right i'm just going to bring my thread down and tell my name with the point of the hook and then i want to come around with four turns of the oval silver tinsel to create the tag and on the fifth turn bring it up and in between the two hooks then I'm going to run my thread up around about halfway. I'm going to fold this back from my rib and bring my thread back down to meet the tag. Now the rear body is dubbing and what I'm going to use is, is this stuff here. This is like a silver and UV um, dubbing that I got out of the craft shop when it was opened in Belfast. It's good stuff. Right. I'm going to need a wee bit. So I'll just dub it on. And then just got it nice and tight at the back. And just run it up the first part of the body. Anything that's going forward. Just stroke it back. Then you can come up with your oval silver tinsel rib. We've got three turns on to the body. It's plenty to the heart. Fully around with the thread. One turn to hold. A couple of turns to secure. And then we'll come in and trim away the, the excess of the oval silver tinsel. Now, I'm just going to come in here with some Velcro. Just brush out some of the, just to bring out some of the dumbing into the fly, into the wee dressing. Now, the mid haggle is going to be a fluorescent Chinese cock haggle. This is just a Chinese cock cape and fluorescent yellow. So I'm just going to stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the hook, one turn to hold, another turn to secure. Fold back the tip of the haggle. Just bring your thread up over the tip and the haggle. Come in and locate the tip, you can bring it away. Then we'll come in with our scissors. Just run it up your stem of your haggle. And you're just looking one turn in front of the other. Now it's a great wee fly this. Good fly for the it's a good fly for the grills. Right, just get your turns in. Turns a haggle up to you. Right, just want to check. Yep, just put another one in. That'll do me there. Fold it around with my thread, turn in the hold, and a couple of turns to secure, and then we'll come in and trim away the excess. Now at this point, you're going to put in the the wing. So you can use bucktail, but what I'm going to use is a chartreuse fin raccoon, and then over the top of that, a blue foxtail so we'll get some of the fin raccoon to get us started Turn that away from the tail let's take out some of the guard hers right you can have this as short as long as you like because it's always say and it's going to have it twice the length of the the hook over the back, come around with a pinch and loop. 
then a couple of tight turns just to secure it in then I'm going to come in and trim this oh sorry a bit of a tapered cut for the just to give us a taper heading towards the front body now I'm going to put two different colours of flash into the wing and I've got them here this is crystal and blue UV crystal flash so just ordinary crystal flash and the blue UV stuff so just offer this up under the fin raccoon come around with the pinch and loop a couple of turns to hold right. just want to make sure it's sitting nice for us sitting the way that we, that we want it okay looks good I'm going to fold this back bring a couple of turns up over the top keeping the hold of the excess come in trim it away now I'm just moisten that and leave that on my desk for my next fly over the top of that we're going to put all our blue fox now we don't want too much of the the blue fox just a small amount will do me it's up to you if you like more of the blue put more of the blue on but for me i just like a wee small pinch of the, the blue let's take out some of the guard hairs here i'm going to have this less than the length of the fin raccoon so just measure it up come in and hold it on top around with a pinch and loop couple of turns to secure just that wee hackle fibre there so we'll just get that back secure the hair in see how we're sitting yep looks good come in get your blue fox take it away in a bit of a tapered cut then we can bring our thread forward tying down our cut ends nice and tight just got a wee step here I'm just going to try and just level it off a wee bit now the rib for the front this is a chartreuse wire a UTC wire to show you that's it there just just the rib for the front you can use anything you want just come in just going to catch this in underneath as well bring it underneath the shank of the hook then I'm going to run my thread back tied up against the the wing now the front body I'm going to use Opal Mirage tinsel in large it's it there so just going to length this off spool it this up to the hook just going to put it into the length of the body tie that in then we'll just come around with our bum rods now just want to make sure you get a nice tight turn nice and tight up against the the wing and then one turn overlapping the other up to there fly around with the thread a couple of nice tight turns to secure come in trim away the excess and then we'll come up with our chartreuse wire three turns on the front should be plenty just to protect the tinsel follow this around with your thread nice and tight now that your thread turns and then come in and bend and break away the wire best to bend and break away rather than rather than to cut it Right, we're not looking too bad. The front handle is going to be like a Taylor washed out blue badger handle. So let's take a feather off, stroke the fibers back to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the flag room with a turn to hold, another turn to secure. Fold back the tip, bring your thread turns back up over the tip and the handle. Come in locate the tip you can bring it away then just come in with your scissors 
bumps up the stem and get them to sit back for you and then you can just do one turn in front of the other that's a like I said earlier on there it's a bright wee fry not, not be everybody's taste sure if you want to tie it up you can tie a few up now, up to there follow it around with your thread one turn in the hole a couple of turns to secure now that stem's thin enough so I'm going to fold it back so I'm just taking off the bolt just off the the fibre off the stem then come in and sweep it back nice tight turns of thread now up over the stem and turn it in nice and tight come in you can break away the stem that wing looks a bit bulky but it'll reduce in the water once it's had a swim now just to finish off two jungle cock eyes staffer them up to the to the hook just come around hold them on the on the sides of the hook a couple of loose turns right, just come in and see what way we're sitting happy enough for that so just want to tighten up going back down towards the, the eye of the hook then we can fold back the stems now if you fold back the stems it just means that the jungle cock it has to break off it can't pull out and then bring your thread turns just up over the top of the, the stems of the jungle cock nice and tight with your thread turns tying them in keeping your thread tight you should be able to come in and break away the, the stems still keeping your thread tight just come in with your web finishing tool Hold on. give it a flop around the web finisher and then just whip finish I mean you can tidy up your head at the same time or put a bit of shape on top pull the thread tight come in trim away the excess okay a wee bit of moisture on the wing here just to add to see it <coughs> excuse me just have a wee check okay looks good so just come in first coat on the head super glue just on the head Right the whole way right round. Do you want this going into your John Will Cock or Cock Hackle? And there you go guys. So look just, just a variation of the the Ice Maiden. Um it's a bright wee fly, but sometimes bright wee flies work for when the when the grills run. So look guys, give that wee fly a go. Um get a few in your box and hopefully they can catch you a few fish. Thanks for watching the video.